Hi guys, so I'm home right now. It's pretty late. You can see the dark circles around my eyes. Who cares? Shut up. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you what's my favorite thing to eat. Um, when, you know, just like my favorite cheapy, not so healthy thing to eat. So, come with me and we shall make it together. Not creepy at all. First of all, you will need some kimchi. Uh, the kimchi is a, I believe, Chinese. Could be Japanese, but I think it's Chinese. It might be Japanese. Um, so yeah, you'll need kimchi. You'll also need some cayenne pepper. You will need a bowl, clean or previously uh, used for to make kimchi. You will need bread. And you will need PB and J. The first thing you're gonna want to do is boil your water since that is what's gonna take the longest to finish. I can't use my toaster and my kettle at the same time because the fuse is gonna blow and um, so just boil the water first that way the bread just boil the water first. I don't need to explain anything else about that. Why do I need to explain anything else? While the water's boiling, what I like to do is take out my two packets out of the kimchi. You're gonna have your dehydrated veggies, so it's like dehydrated cabbage and kimchi. And I like to have my packet of sauce, so I kind of shake it like that to put it all down to the bottom, so it's like half and this. So I'll show you what we do next. So what I like to do is I like to put my cabbage and stuff first and then I take my cayenne pepper and I sprinkle as much as I want. I don't have a sensitive palate like all you pussy wool out there. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I understand that people have sensitive palettes. So next I tear the bag of this guy and I only put half. So I tear the bag like this and then I hold the powder inside and then I dump the rest and then I just throw out the what I held because I don't like the whole thing. It's too strong for me. It's too salty. Okay. So yeah, there's about half in there. So that's what I do and then I just take the kimchi well the the noodles I should say waste not want not and then I put it in here and I wait for the water to boil and then I fill up the bowl to here <laughs> or just a little bit so it's flush with the noodles so that's how I like my noodles. The water is boiled, as you can see right there. So I'm not gonna wait for it to do it, I'll do it. And then what you do is you bring your kettle here. And what the fuck? Who told you to zoom in? Like really? No one. You just wanna be cool. Like all the cameras zoom in, you're gonna zoom in. Alright, and then you pour the water. Just till it's flush with the kimchi. Then you take your fork, make sure it's flush, it's just about flush, and I just mix that like so. And I let it sit because it's it's tough. Next step, you toast, you toast. I'd say that uh, we're waiting for the bread to toast. Why? Why every time I record people have to message me? And then all day they're not messaging me, and now when I'm recording they're messaging me. How about that? Okay, as I was saying, make a nice background here. As I was saying, anybody else want to message me? No? As I was saying, this is a good me- Now the toaster is disrupting me. I was trying to say that this is a good meal to make if you're single. Single. Don't make this for your kids or your boyfriend. You're gonna look totally lame. Make it 
for yourself. When you're single, your boyfriend's out of town, you're not shaving anything, this is when you make this. You just sit down and you just watch like... Okay, let's just, let's just go eat the toast. Let's go make the toast because no one wants to... Uh, I'm gonna cuss. Is that even toasted? Yeah. I like my toast lightly toasted. So, you can you... Jesus Christ! This is the toast, we're just gonna add some PB and J. Oh, seriously? So, what I was trying to say earlier was just... Well, maybe I did get to say it, I don't know. Anyways, you make this, you know, when you haven't shaved your legs, when you're on your period, when your balls are salty, this is when you make this. You don't try to impress someone with this. You don't try to give this to your mom or your kids. No. This is for you. You got the sweet and you get the salty. And when you eat it, it makes a mess. Okay? That's the fun part about the sandwich. You sit down, you get crumbs, you get sticky, and you get crumbs. So the last the last step is you heat up the PB and J for like 10 seconds. This will give the PB and J that that gooey taste. So you already toasted it, so it's cr you already toasted it, so it's already crunchy. Now you want it to be gooey, gooey, gooey. So you heat it up for ten seconds. I don't know, maybe a little bit longer if your microwave's crappy. Oh yeah, I feel it. So there you have it, friends. That's the perfect combination. I love this combination. I crave this combination. It's sweet and salty. Wait, there's one last thing missing. But there's one last element that I forgot that I like with this combination. I like to have the hot soup with a tall glass of ice cold water. So let's make it. All right, let's see if this is ready. Ooh, it's breaking apart. It's ready for me to eat. Ooh, mama. If you've never had kimchi before, Get on that. Don't buy the cheap thing. Get the most expensive one. That's the one that tastes the best. I wanted to let you know. Um, yeah, so just for a little bit more information, I eat this soup with a fork and I kind of slurp up the, the liquid, but I eat this with a fork. It goes way better than a spoon. Don't worry, it's water. If I can't drink a whole glass of gin like that, that'd be awesome though.